So this is the Orion 32 HD control panel. And all you need to know when you connect it to a Pro Tools rig is that your line inputs here, you can drag those down to your HDX outs. That's the connector, the Digiport connector that goes to your Pro Tools system. And then you'll take your HDX ins and go to your line outs. Now you have 32 channels of in and out, and I'll show you how those can be divided. And you have all these other options as well. So Pro Tools is just gonna see the IO, but you have all this extra layer of flexibility and routing to route to things like uh, digital IO or um, monitor mixers with reverb or the various effects, which we'll get into later. But just for your basic setup, this is what you need to know. This little uh, gear symbol in the upper right corner is your preferences, and that's where you can determine your loop sync setup. We're always the loop sync master, um, and that, that that allows you to open up native DAWs like Studio One or Logic, Ableton Live, run them side by side with Pro Tools, which is really cool. So um, you don't lose your work clock in or your atomic in just because you have a loop sync in. And also uh, here you don't lose your work clock outs. If you need those as well, you have at least one of those. You only have to use one for your loop sync out. So that's how that portion is set up. Now I'll bring up my uh, handy dandy camera here that I have set up. And um, you can see we have the Orion 32 HD right here. And this is the front panel. And just to give you the rest of the tour, there's the mastering rig in the back. And this is sort of my, my testing workshop area for QA and testing stuff out. So um, hold the antelope button on the front. And you see, I can scroll up and down here with the arrows. You see that there's an HD port one and an HD port two. And you can hold that bottom arrow and now you can toggle and decide which interface you want to mimic. It can be a 192 IO. It can be an HD 8x8, HD 16x16, or a MADI HD. So I'm sticking with the 16x16. Now, just keep in mind, whatever you do choose, you're going to want to leave it there because um, Pro Tools will get confused. So if you, if you change what you're mimicking, you just need to disconnect and restart everything just, uh, just to be safe. So uh, that's it, that'll get you going, that'll get you sample accurate. I'll show you some more loopback stuff later in another video and some stuff with the effects as well.